Hello and welcome. I'm Kathy Lee. I have a project I'm going to share with you. This is from a design team package I received from Country Craft Creations. And I made this cute little um, Christmas, uh, I call it my Christmas dog house. <laughs> it's got this cute little puppy in here and the collection that I used was uh, Photo Place Mutt Crackers. So um, as you can see I've used quite a few uh, stamps from the collection and I um, wanted to give you a really quick preview of the papers. Uh, this is the holly leaves. These are the nut crackers or the mutt crackers cute papers and then it also came with um, some solids so there was a green with kind of a diagonal stripe and just a, a light color lighter color um, solid and the red had uh, a light color polka dots and then a red solid on that side and then the blue was um, just uh, horizontal stripes and then a dark blue on the back and I thought that was really nice because I was able to use some of that for um, like photo mats and I'm going to be making some cards with the rest of the collection here so um, be looking for that uh, but this other um, so this one is called happy hollow days <laughs> has all the puppy dogs they're just adorable I just love this collection it's so cute and of course you can't have Christmas without a diagonal candy cane type um, pattern this has a little bit of red and the green stripes and then um, this is so cute the little uh, doggy bones and snowflakes with red in the background really really cute little papers and this is ho 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 it has all these little uh, different types of puppies adorable and plaids I love plaids and this is so perfect for Christmas and then you get a, an advent um, sheet that has all of the numbers on it if you want to make something for an advent calendar as you can see I've been using my papers um, this is a blue with uh, some pretty snowflakes and then here's some of the cut aparts really nice that they kind of um, did a little variation of three by fours and four by sixes and here's another one um, some of the cut aparts I already used here and then there's this cute little pattern it has uh, stockings and ornaments on um, hanging so really cute cute uh, collection also I received in my package some ribbons which I've used in this project and then uh, these are seam binding and this is um, this is a canvas uh, that's frayed at the ends and has little red polka dots really cute cute ribbon and then I also got the stamp collection that goes with it so I used a couple of the stamps in this book but um, I plan to use more of the stamps on my cards because uh, there it, it, um, it, it will really uh, bring out the mutt cracker <laughs> in the collection by using these stamps and they're just so fun to color so for my album, um, I did uh, use this cute little uh, bulldog. He's a, I colored him as kind of a British bulldog. He's adorable. Has a little um, collar that has little lights on it. And then um, the, uh, I'm also going to be doing a tutorial for, for this one. Um, but it will come later after the, uh, after the preview uh, so it's and it will be a separate video so I just wanted to share what I created now and then um, I will um, publish the video with all the measurements later um, also on my seam binding my little bow tie seam binding tie here I used uh, some lawn fawn dies and this cute little puppy um, was one of the stamps in my lawn fawn uh, die and stamp set and um, I colored him as my Dawson my Great Dane um, colors so he's all black and he has a little bit of white on his nose his feet are white and his, the tip of his tail is white so um, typical mantle type uh, Great Dane so I, I um, 
put I I kept my ends nice and uh, so they don't fray with this cute little stamp. So the album um, is in a doghouse style. Um, I these are a couple of dies that I used from another lawn lawn fun die set. But of course, um, you can use anything that you have, or you can just um, leave it with without. Uh, windows um, so but the um, these cute little uh, uh, Christmas Christmas lights I had in my stash probably for about a decade and I thought oh my gosh that's the perfect thing and I got the inspiration from this 3 by 4 cut apart where it has these cute little uh, this little doghouse and he's got lights on his doghouse and I thought oh that's perfect so um, that's how that was the inspiration for this um, for this album. Uh, the album is actually an accordion album so it just folds out like this and you can actually set it on your um, set it on a coffee table or an end table or on your mantle um, to display uh, photos so but um, so I'm gonna go through the the uh, through the entire album um, this is a sticker from the sticker sheet and then this is also one of the stamps and all of the stamps um or or most of the the stamps that i used um I can, can be uh uh used as elements where i can tuck my my photos in, under or um through the the photo this is also can serve as a belly band as well um, but I used just some of the different papers. I didn't make this really fancy with uh, a lot of interactive elements um, or, or a lot of different papers in different areas because it's such a small little album and it went together really, really fast. Okay, so this next page, this is actually a sticker and I just, uh, or, and, and it was a tag, so I just um, put it on some of the red cards, the, the solid paper, and um, tied a little bow with my seam binding, and I can put some uh, journaling on this side and put my photo here. And then the interactive parts of this album are the, um, I used these little turn mounts that I had in my stash, and this, these are from like years ago, but they have these cute little patterns on them, and um, if you recall the turn mounts, these are um, uh, just like the back of a f picture frame, and that's what holds your, your photo into the frame, that's what these are, and they're little metal pieces, um, and then this just flips down like that, and I just used them as kind of um, swing tabs. And then the next page, cute little bones <laughs> uh, paper, and then I have a cute little bone um, tuck spot for my photo. And then this also has a little tag on it. This is a sticker I put on some of the um, solid paper. Again, I can journal here for the photos. And I tied it with some, some of my scene binding. And then on this side, I have another um, turn mount and place to hide photos. And then on the back, I have this little belly band with a couple of cut aparts in it. And I use some of the um, sticker uh, sticker banner uh, banner sheet, or, or excuse me, the banner part of this the sticker sheet um, as a belly band. And then this is also a sticker there as well. And then we turn it around this way. And again, another mutt cracker, and he's got space underneath him to put photos. Um, and then this is also another tag from the sticker sheet. I just put it in here and I can also write on the back of here as well. And then this has another turn mount for a little interactive element. Some of the bone paper again. I love this paper that's just so cute. And then this page again has another little tag and I can write on there and it's just tied with the seam binding from the other side some of the ho ho paper and then the last interactive element with the little turn mount folds up and then this is the last page and um, 
uh, just a couple of pieces of uh, the pretty pattern paper and then again another belly band I did ba basically the same thing here as I did on the back of the other page and then this is also a sticker element so that is my little mutt cracker mini album and I will be uh, putting together a tutorial in the next few days and um, I'll post it here so if you're interested in making this cute little thing um, I'll have all the measurements ready for you thanks for joining me today have a good one